The point is, I don't understand why people want to stay so long. Yes, going home is not a problem. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. If there is a mission to be done, and I'm telling you that in, in, in Uganda here, and to some extent in Africa, we have got mission, very serious missions, which if we don't do, we shall become a Latin America. When a leader tries to change the rules in the middle of the game just to stay in office, it risks instability. When charlatans, sh sh people are not serious, come up, oh, it is opposition to, 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 to longevity, longevity in government. So you, you jump up and down you, uh, in the West. Uh, uh, and they, they get quite a lot of encouragement from, from the, the, the foreigners, from the homosexuals. And that the state should not discriminate against people based on their sexual orientation. The point is, I don't understand why people want to stay so long. Three quarters of Uganda's population have known only one president, Yoweri Museveni. You first work on your own things. Me, I have no problem. I have got my home to go to. If Mr. Museveni wants me, I am here. Let him face me. They, they, they answer them. I answer them. I don't have to fight with these children. Shame on all of them that we are trying to use the children to subjugate me. Now, you cannot do anything. I am here. Whatever you want to do, do it to me. I am an adult like you. So you are very stupid. They, they are the ones who are hostile. I know what he and his regime of blood and national shame was planning to do. But I think what you would like us to be is that we should be your puppets. Whatever you say is, is what we should do. We should not say, wait a minute, that one we don't agree with. You were in Museveni. Now the 76-year-old who has been in power for the last 35 years is seeking his sixth elected term. A removal of presidential term limits back in 2004 and scrapping of age limits in December 2017 paved way for Museveni to vie once more. The road for Museveni 2021 is now clear. <laughs> we want the International Criminal Court, when we succeed, to issue an arrest warrant to General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni and to his security minister, General Eri Tumwine, and all the police and military officers that have committed and continue to commit crimes against humanity. You also, the November massacre, when so many innocent Ugandans we are murdered. The, 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 the 32, 32 were attacking security people. There was a 14 year old boy who was killed. Some, who was walking some, along behind his mother. Some, some died in the crossfire. Some died, some 22. But 32 were definitely. Who started that violence? Well, who started Bobby the... Wine was arrested and then people started rioting. Of that, there is no doubt. Yes. And then the no, but, but that one had in. been planned a long time. But, but they had planned that when he's arrested, there should be uprising. Uh -huh. So the uprising was defeated. Was defeated. So who are, who are responsible? Honestly, why would you want another term? Why another five years of madness? I'm not the only person. But there is no harm if I also contribute. Let me play devil's advocate, Mr. President, Sunday afternoon or evening, whenever they announce. Mm. The Electoral Commission chairman announces the winner. Mm. And it's Dr. Bessie J. Mm. Well, well th that must have been witchcraft.